pro-life. The greatest failure of any presidential administration in the history of our country. Oh, he's going to repeal the Trump tax cut. Uh, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. Well, wait, wait. I'm speaking. It'd be important if you said the truth. On January 28th, the vice president and the president were informed about the nature of this pandemic. They were informed that it's lethal in consequence, that it is airborne, that it will affect young people, and that it would be contracted because it is airborne. And they knew what was happening, and they didn't tell you. And our nation has gone through a very challenging time this year. But I want the American people to know that from the very first day, President Donald Trump has put the health of America first. And I will always fight for a woman's right to make a decision about her own body. It should be her decision and not that of Donald Trump and, and the Vice President, Michael Pence. I'm pro-life. I, I don't apologize for it. I don't believe so. And I've, I've talked with Brianna's mother, Tamika Palmer, and her family. And her family deserves justice. She was a beautiful young woman. Well, our heart breaks for the loss of any, sin, any innocent American life. And the family of Brianna Taylor has our sympathies. But I, I trust our justice system.